Hello everyone and happy 2023. I wish you a lot of success, luck and health. And of course, in this year, we're gonna develop some cool games, right? To start this year, I've decided to ditch completely World Machine and show you how I changed my workflow using Gaia. Gaia is a perfect tool which you can integrate in your workflow to create huge terrains if you need to create open world games or battle royale games. If you stay with me in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you my workflow, how easily you can create massive open worlds with Gaia and Unreal Engine 5. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to quadspinner.com. Here in quadspinner.com, you have access to Gaia. Of course, you can download it for free Gaia, but the free version has some limitations. For this video, we're gonna use the free version and show you how you can achieve some result with the free version. And of course, if you like the software, you can go to the buy section over here and you can get a license. You can get an indie one for 99 bucks, professional or enterprise, it depends on you. So let's scroll down to their website and see what you can achieve with Gaia. Here you can see that you can create pretty amazing islands with foliages, water and effects. If I keep scrolling, this is a scene created by Alex Alvarez, which is the president of Gnomon. And this scene was fully created with Gaia, the terrain, and then textured maybe in Unreal or Maya. Let's go down. Here is one more scene, one more environment created by senior environment artist Massimo Verona in Industrial Light and Magic. This was from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Again, with the help of Gaia, Lucasfilms and Responables Entertainment. Of course, the demo of Quixel, which is Rebirth, uses the powerful Gaia. And as you can see over here, pretty high details you can create with it. Once you download the Gaia version and open the Gaia, you're gonna have this window. Here you can select templates from which you can create, for example, let's select Mountain and let's click over here. We can select a predefined mount. So if I hover here on the mountain ridge, you can see a preview of what this will look like. Hero Mountain, Glacier Peak, Sandstone, Split Peak. Let me open this one pretty quickly. And you can see here that we have something going on. We have a terrain created. Here is our graph, which is a node based. You need to plug some things in order to create your terrain. But I'll create a very simple one from scratch so you can have the basic idea of how you can create terrains. So here from the left side, you have your toolbox, you have primitives, geo primitives. You have a lot of options over here, which I'm not going to cover today because today's lesson will be how you can create something very basic and import it into Unreal. Later on, I can go into depth with Gaia and Unreal Engine, but today we are just going to touch the surface. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go here under the Geo Primitives and I'm going to select Range and I'm going to drag and drop it over here in our graph. And this will create a mountain range over here. All right. And the second thing I want to do is I want to add some rocky primitives over here. I'm going to drag and drop it. And we are creating some kind of rocks. All right. Pretty basic. But right now our resolution is pretty low over here. It's 0.5K, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to boost it up all the way to 2K. My computer can handle it. If your computer has very slow hardware or not so good hardware, you can stick up with 0.5 or 1K. All right, so here I have better preview. If I click on the range, I'm going to preview the range over here. And what I want to do is I want to combine those two. So I'm going to select those two. I'm going to go over here multi-mix and I'm going to combine it. So if I click here, I'm seeing the combined version of those two. And let's start tweaking them. I'm going to go in my range over here and I'm going to zoom a little bit out with my mouse scroll wheel. With Alt and left mouse button, I'm just rotating my camera. And what I want here is I'm just going to play with those settings. I'm just going to boost up the scale over here because I want to create some sharp forms, which look pretty nice. You can control the height from here. You can increase the height or you can decrease the height. I'm just gonna increase it a little bit. Of course, from seed, you can just use random seed in order to create different shapes. And let's just play a little bit with the seed to see something that 
has interesting shape. Let's try with that. All right, so this is something that I like. I'm going to go into the Rocky and I'm going to play a little bit with the rock size. And I'm going to boost it up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to click on my combine now to see how everything looks. And it looks good at the moment. Pretty good. So the next thing that I want to show you is you can search for nodes with clicking the tab on your keyboard. And a node that I want to add is Rapto Terraces, which will make my mountains with a little bit of fraction and terraces over there. So I'm going to connect my output to my input over here. And I've created those fractal elements over here. And what I want to do is I can tweak them up with the spacing. Let me just tweak them up. Just play with the settings today. We are just reviewing it. We're not creating anything specific. I'm just going to boost a little bit the intensity. All right. Pretty good. Pretty interesting shape. And the final thing that I want to do is a little bit of erosion. So I'm going to click top again and I'm going to search for erosion. And this will create very good definition in my mountain. And I'm going to drag and drop here from fractal terraces to erosion. And we're starting to get some nice erosion. I'm going to click on fractal to see it, how it looks previously. And I'm going to click on erosion. And of course, you can tweak all the parameters here. The duration of erosion but you need to click apply changes over here because it's not updated in real time so i'm gonna click apply wait a little bit because this is performance heavy operation and i have some different erosion over here all right looking pretty good right now i like the mountains i like the range everything looks pretty neat the one thing that i'm not going to do here is i'm not going to texture anything here in gaia and I'm going to create a master material in Unreal Engine and texture it this way. And of course, in Gaia, you can create your textures. You can create the rivers and vegetation, which can be used as reference in Unreal Engine, where you need to place your vegetation, rivers, and different materials. And a few other things that I want to show you from here, from the cloud option, you can toggle the sky. And from here, from the sun, you can change the sun angle if you want to preview better your terrain so this is the terrain that i've created and this is the thing that i want to export in unreal ng5 and now the export process is a little bit tricky the first thing that i want to do is i want to go to here at the build and i want to set up my build destination folder from those three dots i'll select my folder and now my build destination is set up the next step is to select your resolution. As we are working with the free version, we can use up to 1K resolution for our export. We cannot use above 1K. So from this drop down, you have different resolutions, but there is a tab which is called Unreal. And I'm going to set it up 1009. This is the maximum that I can export with the free version. If you pay for Gaia, you can choose the other resolutions, but I'm going to stick with this one. So this is the basic setup that you need to do for the export. The next thing is which node you want to export. As my erosion is my final node, I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename it and call it my world. All right. So this will be my final node that I want to export. So I'm going to right click and mark for export or use the F3 on your keyboard. I'm going to mark it for export in here in file to save. I'm going to have my world and I'm going to choose PNG for the format that I want to export. All right. Those are the first basic steps. The next thing is to determine the scale of your terrain, which is pretty important. We need to match Gaia and Unreal Engine scale. How we can do that? Here from the terrain definition, in the scale, we have 5000. This is in meters. So right now, our terrain is 5 kilometers by 5 kilometers and our height is 2600 meters but i've created a custom workflow in order to calculate the height and match gaia and unreal engine 5 so what i prefer to do is for the height i've put 2000 
And let's say this terrain won't go above 2000 meters, all right, in height. And what I do over here is I click on my world, go to erosion properties. This is pretty important. And here with the level, auto level, I click it. And what this will do, this will automatically level up everything to the 2000 meters that I've selected. So right now, the highest point of this terrain is 2000 meters. But the terrain looks horrible over here. And what I do is I go to clamp. And from the clamp max, here it says how much is the height, the maximum height that I need to clamp. Right now is 2000 meters and everything is going in that direction to aim 2000 meters. And let's say I want my mountain to be 1000 meters. The highest mountain is 1000 meters. So I put 1000 M for meters. I click enter and it is clamping everything to 1000 meters. But I think this is again too high so i'm gonna go here and let's say 500 meters all right so 25 percent is from those 2000 meters over here and right now i set up my gaia how i want to be in unreal engine and i'm going to show you the formula that you need to tweak over there in unreal engine in order to get the same result right now the highest point for me is this one which is 500 meters and it looks pretty good all right and the next step is to go to build and click on start build choose a name for it i'm gonna choose gaia and the process of building your terrain will start before i show you how to import this terrain in unreal ng5 if you are still not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel like this video if you have any comment or question put it in the comments below also, we've created a Discord channel for our CG community where people can ask questions, talk to each other, help each other. So if you want to be part of this community, find the link to the Discord in the description below. Let's continue with this video and show you how you can import this terrain in Unreal Engine 5. Now, here in Unreal Engine, I have an empty scene without anything in it. So I'm going to go here from the select mode and I'm going to choose landscape. I'm going to go to import from file and here for our height map file, I'm going to double click here what we need to select is you need to select myworld.png this is the one that we're going to use i click ok and right now our terrain is not correct so what we need to do over here is the first thing is we have 500 meters for our scale over here and i need to do a little formula over here so let me just maximize this so i want to do is i'm going to put 500 meters and I'm going to multiply it by 100, all right? And I'm going to divide it by the resolution that I'm using, which is 1009, 1009. And this is the formula which you need to use in order to get the scale right of your terrain. So we have 5,000 meters multiplied by 100 units in Unreal Engine and divided by 1009 because this is my resolution at the moment. Just multiply the scale number to 100 and then divide it to your resolution. If you're using different resolution, divide to something different. I'm gonna press enter and my Y scale will be automatically done. So this is the first step, all right? We've calculate the size of our terrain based on X and Y. Now we need to calculate the Z. Z is a little bit more complicated. So right now i'm going to open my calculator over here what we have is 2000 meters and we have a height to scale ratio of 0 0.4 which we're going to need to use as i said before we have 500 meters which is our highest peak so i have 500 meters and i'm going to divide it by 0 0.4 which is our height to scale ratio all right so right now i have 1000 and 250 and the next one is we need to calculate the multiplier to this one because our terrain definition is 2000 and on height but we want our highest peak to be 500 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put 2000 and divide by 500 so this gives us a multiplier of 4 and i'm going to multiply this by 4 and i have 5000 like a number so I'm going to have 5,000 multiplied by 100. And the next thing is I'm going to open 
the Unreal Engine Landscape technical documentation. And here in the technical documentation, you have an example. The ratio is 1 divided by 512. And this is the ratio that we need to multiply our height map. So I'm going to copy this value. I'm going to go back to Unreal. And right now we have this value that we've calculated from Gaia. I'm multiplying it by 100 in order to get it into centimeters. And then this value will be multiplied the one that we've copied, the ratio that we are using in order to calculate the height. I'm going to press enter. And this is our terrain. All right. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Let me just move this up. And then you're going to click import. Nothing I can see over here. And this is because I have a height poke. I'm going to go to select and I'm going to turn off my height poke. And now you can see I have this beautiful terrain. Let me just open it over here so you can see it. And it's pretty much the same. And this terrain right now is 5 kilometers in length and it is 500 meters in height, which is somewhere over here. And if you don't believe me, let's measure this out. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to my editor preference. And under look and feel, measuring two units, I'm going to select everything to be in meters over here. Okay. So I'm going to go into my select mode and I'm going to click those four over here. Maximize or restore the viewport. All right. And I'm going to click here because I want to go into my side view, F11. And what I need to do is with the middle mouse button, I'm going to drag and measure the height of my terrain. So the lowest point will be somewhere over here at this point, all right? And the highest point of the peak will be this one. So let's measure it. And I have exactly 500 meters for my height. So my height is correct. Let's measure the size of the terrain. I'm going to click over here, F11, and I'm going to measure it over here. How much? I have 5,000 meters. And I have 5,000 meters. So at the moment we have a terrain 5 by 5 kilometers and the highest point will be 500 meters. All right. And let's explore this terrain. And right now we have the terrain that we've created. Pretty cool guys. Pretty easy. And this is how you can use Gaia and Unreal Engine in order to have the terrain exactly how you build it in Gaia. And of course, I'm using a smart terrain over here, an auto material. So this is how you can create a 5 by 5 kilometer terrain with the exact height that you want. As you can see, we have pretty huge terrain. We have mountains. I've applied a smart material to my landscape. And this is how you can create terrains like this using Gaia and Unreal Engine 5. In the next videos that I'm going to create, I'm going to show you a deeper integration between Gaia and Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to explain you more of the features of Gaia and how you can utilize them in Unreal Engine 5. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and see you in the next one. Happy game development. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created few Unreal Engine 5 courses. And if you find any of the topic interesting to you, you can go into the description below and check them out.